It's my great privilege and honor today to introduce to you Liberty's new athletic director. He's a godly man of excellent character. He's someone I've gotten to know in recent weeks and, and uh, could not be more excited about this announcement. But Mr. Ian McCaw, under his leadership at Baylor University, the athletic department has achieved extraordinary academic, athletic, and administrative success since his arrival on September 8, 2003. He was the 12th Director of Athletics at Baylor, but since 2003, Baylor has enjoyed the, the most competitively successful period in the history of its intercollegiate athletics program. During that span, Baylor has captured four national team championships and 56 Big 12 conference championships. This period also includes Baylor's nine highest finishes in the Learfield Sports Director's Cup standings highlighted by its best finish ever in 2014-15 with a 23rd place ranking. In addition, all 19 sports advanced to postseason competition for the first time in school history in the 2011-2012 academic year. Baylor football reached bowl games in five consecutive years for the first time in school history and won the 2011 Alamo Bowl, the 2012 Holiday Bowl, and the 2013 and 2014 Big 12 championships. In addition, Robert Griffin III became the school's first ever Heisman Trophy recipient. The school's combined record in football and men and women's basketball of 350 and 84 over the last five years is the best in the nation. Student athletes have thrived in the classroom as Baylor finished first or second in the Big 12 and graduation success rate in six of the last eight years and recorded their highest cumulative grade point average on record during the 2015-2016 academic year at 3.34. While Baylor Athletics enjoyed extraordinary academic and athletic success, the department has made dramatic strides administratively as well. A five-year strategic plan for inter intercollegiate athletics called Above and Beyond was developed and implemented inclusive of department goals and objectives. An outgrowth of this plan was the creation and successful completion of the Victory with Integrity and From Here We Build development campaigns. Since 2003, when, when uh, Ian became athletic director, Baylor Athletics has raised more than $390 million toward capital projects and student athlete scholarships. The increased athletics development activity led to the funding and completion of numerous athletic facilities on campus, and it's um, just an incredible achievement under Ian McCaw's watch. Now I want to welcome to Liberty University, Mr. Ian McCaw. Thank you very much. What a, what a warm welcome, and uh, I'd like to begin by expressing my deep appreciation to uh, President Falwell for his confidence and uh, affording me such a special opportunity to lead and steward the athletics program here at Liberty University. Uh, President Falwell's fingerprints are uh, all around Liberty, whether it's uh, the impressive campus or all the many construction projects that are going on or the success of the online program. And uh, I'm very honored and feel fortunate to uh, be able to serve under such a, a dynamic leader. And uh, he certainly has the university on a very steep upward trajectory at this point in time and what an exciting place to work. Uh, my family's with me uh, today and I'd like to, uh, to introduce them. Um, really uh, privileged to have them uh, with us here if they would stand when I call them my wife, Heather of uh, 24 years. Uh, Heather's a great mother for our four children, wonderful wife, and a uh, very gifted elementary school teacher, and uh, appreciate her uh, being here with us as well. We're hoping that the uh, truant officers in Waco are fairly lenient today because we uh, took all four of our children out of school to, to be with us. Uh, our oldest daughter is Christy, and uh, she is a senior at Baylor University. Our son, Paul, is uh, a sophomore at Baylor. Uh, daughter Callie is a senior in high school, and our youngest is uh, Corinne, and she's a sophomore in high school. And
All of us are certainly very excited about joining the Liberty family and also uh, the Lynchburg community. Couldn't be more thrilled about it. Uh, the one person our family's got extra added motivation is my wife because her twin sister lives in Herndon, Virginia. So uh, she's really delighted about this move and uh, we're really thrilled uh, again for the opportunity to serve, serve Liberty and get to know each and every one of you. Uh, to me, Liberty really represents the, the ideal personal and professional opportunity wherein we can develop champions for Christ, provide a world-class experience for our student-athletes, and achieve victory with integrity. And our vision for Liberty will be to develop the premier Christian athletic program in the nation, uh, one that would have the same appeal to the Christian community that uh, Notre Dame does to, to the Catholic community and uh, BYU garners for, for the Mormon community. So uh, we want Christian student athletes to grow up dreaming of competing for liberty and have the opportunity to be part of the largest Christian university in the world. So very excited about that vision and, and helping to, uh, to realize that in the years to come. Uh, we're looking forward to having championship programs in all 20 of our sports. I'm very eager to meet with our, our talented coaches and staff and uh, support them as uh, they develop uh, outstanding programs here at Liberty. Uh, I've learned over the years that college athletics is very much a team sport. It takes everybody. It's not just the coaches and the athletic staff and the student athletes. We need the support of our faculty, our staff, our students, our alumni, our friends, the entire Lynchburg community. So we're going to be uh, opening our arms to everyone and uh, trying to get uh, just tremendous support behind this athletic program in order to reach all the goals that, uh, that we've set out. Uh, we will be crafting a strategic plan uh, for our athletic program that's going to address everything from uh, student athlete academic performance, athletic performance, spiritual development, social development, competitive success, our values. Uh, we're going to try to maximize all of our revenue streams, provide high quality facilities, leadership management, and uh, all of those things will be addressed within our strategic plan. So I've learned uh, during my time at in uh, college athletics that you need a plan, you need a blueprint in order to, uh, to achieve great success. This is my 30th year working in college athletics. I've been privileged to be a Division I athletic director for 20 years. This is my fourth stop, and I've never been more excited about an opportunity than I am to be here at uh, Liberty. I think we're gonna, with God's favor, uh, do great things as we seek to honor him through uh, this athletic program. So uh, thank you for being here today, and, and go Flames. We'll take any questions from the press if um, there are any. Okay, well, I, I can't stress how excited I am about Ian McCaw at Liberty University. I don't think, Ian, there could be a better fit between a university and an athletic director. And I just um, am so, I got such high um, hopes and expectations for the future of Liberty Athletics, and I believe that we're going to be able to go places that we've we've not yet been in, in so many ways. And we we um, are honored to have Ian join us as our athletic director. I worked with um, Grant Taff, who's the former head coach at Baylor, former athletic director. I spoke with uh, with um, Regents. That's what they call their trustees there at Baylor who I could not say enough good things about this man's character and his integrity. And we, um, it's just everyone we spoke with gave us the highest recommendation. And it was um, really an easy decision. And we um, are just so, so proud that he chose Liberty. So if there's no questions, I, um, all right. Well, we, we did t we did receive um, applications from others, but we um, we did an extensive search that involved our our um, chief operations officer, our officer, our executive committee. We um, after consulting with all the the powers that be at Liberty, we all came to the same conclusion that Ian was the best choice, and and we um, couldn't be more excited about it. How did I come to know the Lord? Um, when uh, Actually, when I was at uh, the University of Maine, right after uh, uh, I graduated from college, I had uh, 
an opportunity to be part of the, the Navigators ministry through some, uh, some friends, and uh, they shared Christ with me, and, and that, was, uh, that was really my first exposure to, to the Bible. I grew up in uh, Canada, which is not a heavily churched uh, area, and so uh, really through friends and a Bible study, and, and actually uh, I ended up hosting a Bible study at my home. I had a duplex, and the women met uh, upstairs, the men met downstairs, and that was also how I met my, my wife as well. So uh, uh, that was a, a special time in our lives. It really is, and, and uh, you know, this is my first uh, time to be actually on campus and just uh, driving around today to see the, the quality of athletics facilities. Uh, it's outstanding, and I think that's really what gives this athletic program a very high ceiling, is that uh, you have great facilities, you have tremendous leadership. Uh, I'm really uh, excited to, to see what uh, we're going to be able to do in the future. great opportunity and uh, I love challenges and uh, but I really see it as a, as a tremendous opportunity to to advance this program and and again we have a lot of wonderful assets in place and and uh, I think that uh, as we uh, um, as we move forward we can do some really special things and uh, have some uh, some very exciting days and a very bright future ahead for for Liberty Athletics. Well, we, we have the staff. I know we have a lot, a lot of the staff are, are here just looking around the room, and I'm, I'm eager to, to get to know them and, and learn from them. My, my first weeks on the job, and I've done this now four times as a, a new athletic director, uh, you need to listen and you need to learn those first weeks in the job. And so that's what, really what I'm eager to do is learn from our staff, learn what we have in place, and learn areas where we can make progress and have opportunities.